Sisters, Namaste. mothers, fathers, <laughs> babies, children, pets, Grand birds, grandchildren. Mutan was saying to me this at lunchtime. He said, "Oh, it's like, it's like getting together with friends in an hour or so. It's such a nice feeling." <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for all the love you guys shower on us and each other and into the world. And this is just. It's uh, totally touching. Love will take us all the way, you know that. Yes. We know that. And the only question that remains in my <laughs> mind is how do Girma and Melanie manage to be always the first ones on Instagram? I don't know what you guys <laughs> are doing, but you're always there the first one. This maybe will be something to ponder upon in the meditation. Anyway. By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, and there we went, when we remember Zion, by the rivers of
song and it's pretty appropriate how can we sing King Alpha song in this strange situation in a strange <laughs> well we have to learn yeah. you know that's true we have mm. to be able to sing our truth and our truth is in here it's got nothing to do with information or belief or any or anything just uh, our internal reality our sanctuary our sense of self and if we have a sense of self we have a sense of love love compassion and forgiveness these essential qualities hello Veda would you tell the story that I wanted you to tell yesterday Veda wants me to tell you a story <laughs> how can I say no <laughs> uh, it came to her I know why it came to her because we were talking about uh, how unfair this world is and how so many people can be hungry and starving and homeless and so many others of us can feel uh, abundant and why is that that's not fair and uh, why does God let that happen if there's a God why does he let that happen I don't think there's any he up there in the clouds with a long beard nobody thinks that way. I don't know I hope not, <laughs> but I do feel like there is uh, uh, a sense of godliness in all of us, and I think that's again what we evoke. We evoke our godliness, our essential sacred being, 
when we sing and chant. That's what we expose. And with our voices, we cannot hide, like David said yesterday too. We expose ourselves, and uh, that's the gift. We expose who we are, you know. And when we settle into who we are, we express and share this love and this light. Thank you for sharing your love and your light with us all. I feel it coming through the phones. Isn't that amazing? And Deva wanted to tell <laughs> me <laughs> the story is uh, like I was saying because of the state of the world and the state of it being not fair. And one day I was in the ashram. I learned all my teachings, all my lessons in that ashram. Nothing for me. You were all, you, you've, <laughs> I met you in the ashram, so whatever you taught me is from the ashram. I just, it was just a, it was just a learning ground, you know. I know you are. I did learn teachings before, you know, in as much as I, I, like all, we learn lessons, we have our hearts broken, we learn lessons. But uh, the lesson in particular that Dave was talking about, was it went like this. At that time in my life, I'd been asked to, uh, which was a great honor for me, to coordinate the meditation music in the ashram, the evening meditation music. Now this was something, we all gathered together, thousands, and we would all be in wearing white, and we would all be freshly showered, and we would be come to the, uh, to the Buddha hall to sit in silence. And really, stillness, that was one of Osho's teachings to help us to sit in stillness at a still point, not move. And in that, that was a great help to still in the mind and helping the mind to go into uh, lockdown. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and so you can imagine it was a big responsibility for me to be able to be taking care of the music and coordinating the musicians and what music uh, would be going out into the congregation that evening and what Osho uh, was talking about which which uh, which particular uh, spiritual path and I felt that uh, the I was complaining basically and I was complaining to Osho's secretary secretary is a son of a strange word she was uh, she was a, a very beautiful Indian woman, and she still is. Neelam, if you're watching, I love you so much. And you gave me one of the great teachings. Thank you. I will always remember you and always be grateful to you. So I said to Neelam, you know, I'm so fed up with some of the musicians. They don't come on time, and they're not intense with their rehearsal. They're not and I was complaining like this, they're not this and they're not that and they should be this and they show us like this, you know. And uh, she told me a, t a story which I will now tell you. And the story is that she said, Miten, I had exactly the same thing because once I was coordinating the ashram newspaper and you could imagine there was a lot of the same kind of stories, people not showing up on time, this and that and come in with the wrong attitude or whatever, all that stuff. And she said, I told Osho this. They wouldn't come, they were late and they're like this. And Osho looked at me with a big smile and he said, you know what, this ashram is not meant to run smoothly. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> if it was running smoothly, what would we learn? The whole point is, and Osho would purposely create conflict within his close people so that they would have some uh, so that that they would be forced to uh, he would tell he would tell one person this and he would tell another person the opposite not just a little but the opposite so then they would but Osho told me this Osho told me this and uh, so it was it was a case of uh, uh, teaching she was a great teacher, you know. So uh, it was my lesson. This world is not meant to run smoothly. How would we learn? We would all be lazy. We'd all be sitting on a beach drinking pina coladas and eating ice cream or something. I don't know. No, no, we wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> if 
But anyway, I mean, he said the ashram is not meant to run smoothly, but it's really, uh, when I, many, many years later, I felt, yeah, it's actually, it's the world, you know, it's this life, and that's why we come here. And somehow that realization just relaxed something in me, because then there's not that, that tension of striving for perfection. Yes. And uh, and, which and, uh, and the realization that everything is already perfect because that's how exactly how it's meant to be in perfect this. Perfect and perfect. Yes, and uh, so this this is the today's little story. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that sounds a little sta strange to deliberately cause problems. That's also um, he he caused us to not be in a comfortable place and look how we how we deal with it how yeah. we are dealing with chaos you yeah. Know? yeah because if it's all very ordered you don't have to look at yourself that much because you just function in a kind of a you know straight line yeah and you but know if yeah. things are disrupted and if you bump up against each other that's when you see how you how you deal with things, how uh, where, how loving can you be, how compassionate can you be? There you were know? situations all the time. It was like uh, putting a whole load of pebbles into a bag, uh, uh, stones, and shaking them up until they were all round. In a way, <laughs> that was how I saw it too. <laughs> and kind of rounded off. Yeah. Okay, friends, it's meditation time. Which guy is it? <laughs> Let's take a deep breath. Oh, just before we start, I wanted to say a big happy birthday to Francoise or Fran, or I don't know how you say that. She's 55 today, and uh, we send you all love. <laughs> 55. <laughs> That's nice. So let's close our eyes now, and let's feel that smile in our, on our faces. Let's relax our jaw. Relax your jaw, open your mouth a little, relax. Ah, let the sound come. Ah, 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 ah. let a little sound come. Ah, that's a relax. See if you can relax your throat. If you can find a way to just relax your throat, yeah. You can feel it expand. Yeah, this gives a channel for the mantra and for your voice. That's where your voice is. Beautiful. And with a straight back, still with a relaxed jaw, still relaxed, your shoulders relaxed, listening to the birds. Mm -hmm. Let's take a deep breath together.
Eyes open, close your eyes for a moment. This is a beautiful opportunity to just come home. Feeling our connection across the planet, across this beautiful planet. There are thousands of us right now. Hand in hand, heart to heart. Even if they take the internet away from us, we still have the possibility now to feel this feeling that even without the internet, we are connected. We are connected with kindred spirits all over the world. And, uh, I don't mean they take internet <laughs> away. I mean that even without the internet, we still can carry this sense of connection with each other because it's so important. Right now, it's easy to feel isolated. It's easy. And even when we were in a flow of distraction, we could still feel isolated. And uh, it's more intensely obvious now. So the, the sense that we're connected to kindred spirits all over the world is, it, it is a nourishment for our hearts. We know that we're not alone in this world. And uh, we have the mantras. And through the mantras, this connection that we're in right now is always, always, always available. This feeling of connection and love. It's true, true Wi-Fi. <laughs> ah, it's true Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, I think we'll finish today, friends, with the Gayatri mantra. It's just such um, a beautiful... Local. Oh, Loka. But before we uh, sing Loka, just wanted to say something about mm -hmm. uh, the event tomorrow in, uh, on Facebook. I think we'll do it just on Facebook um, with Lisa Neja that I wrote about yesterday. And uh, so this is a, um, it's really a, an experiment and it's just Lisa and I creating space for um, 
souls magic. or <laughs> magic or masters or advanced beings from the beyond to come through to um, send us message or to answer questions. Are I have some are questions. Are you inviting questions? I've already invited questions oh and the question then and we're gonna just focus on universal questions. So it's not gonna be um, uh, we're not gonna be able to to do personal connections or, or connect with the you know, you you yes, somebody yes. asked for their mother. T you know, that's a more of a that's more yeah. appropriate in a session, a personal session. This is going to be more a universal kind of, um, and uh, um, if you're not, yeah, if you, if you're not on inst or not on Facebook, we we will upload it to YouTube afterwards if it if it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> well she if we she just sit know. in silence for 45 minutes because nobody said it wanted to say anything and we might not upload it on <laughs> YouTube but I let's see let's just come together it's three hours earlier than our usual time on Facebook live uh, same as usual and uh, Lisa if you're hearing this I'm looking forward well, if um, Lisa is such a great psychic, she knows what's going to happen tomorrow. No, she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, isn't she it? does. Are <laughs> you sure she does? No. <laughs> Let's do loca, little reggae, little reggae beat for the loca today. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 
Yes, then you're going to win. What do we do with this hand? I want to hold mm. you. <laughs> <laughs>